What fetish will you keep a secret from the people you know I roll? I'm in a TPE relationship with my dom and enjoy mutilation scarring. For a while I told family I was very sick. When in reality I was busy getting used as a sex slave for a few weeks. CNC. Total powerless. I loved every second of it. Also. My family is conservative Muslim. Edit. Also I have a major daddy kink. I'm very attracted to maturity and bits. Girls in comfy jammies. Not sure why. Seeing a cute girl in her PJS getting all snug on a cold night makes my heart warm and my dick hard. For me. It's having to be be forced to give head. But like consensually. Like talking to my partner about it. Tickling men. I do not know why I don't want anyone to know this I roll and would rather have my fetish for tying up men be known than that. Maybe. It is because tickle fetish is not that common. And thanks to a documentary. Tickle fetish might not be viewed in a good light. I love being called a good girl in bed. Like excessively. Will instantly make me go from enjoying the SX to loving everything that's happening. It's like a switch flips. Oh and being completely dominated. You are like a golden retriever. I have an incredibly weird non or curiosity of what people's genitals look like. Co-workers. In-laws. Strangers. There's no or gratification or oseturn on factor but I'm obsessed with the thought sometimes. It's been a thing since I was 10-11. I don't get it and I feel so weird about it. I'm 6 feet 3 and tend to attract much smaller. Submissive women. Just doesn't really work when they try to be dominant or physical with me and I inevitably have to be the one in charge. I just want a tall. Buff woman to manhandle me for a change. You all know the tricks bunny. Mind control and hypnosis. Both sub and dom. Turns me on so hard. Tongues. Like. Not the muscle, organ, comma specifically. But like having their tongues sticking out. Sucking it when kissing. Watching it when they talk. IDKY I'm strangely attracted to it and it makes me feel like people would think I'm a serial killer if they knew. Naked women brushing their teeth. Something about the boob jiggle and the fact them pearly whites are staying pearly is just. Just so nice. I wanna be drugged and used. I would like to know it's coming. Have like a full date night set up and I take something. So I'm kinda there and I want them to manipulate me for their pleasure. Mine is a hand fetish. I like inflatable pool toys a bit more than I'm supposed to. My IRL friends and family don't need to know that inflatables and their squeaky noises turn me on. Had an ex who really wanted me to uh, pay her almost any time we had sx. Problem was she wouldn't ever have a conversation about it. I think she got off on the realism. So I'd start getting rough with her. Only for her to. In a hyper realistic scared voice. Beg me to stop or start acting like she was in real danger. So I would stop and ensure she was okay. To which she'd casually go yeah. What's wrong? We'd start again and the same. I couldn't do it. Without explicit consent I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I'd be lying if the whole thing wasn't a turn on for me. Maybe someday in the future I'll find a woman who wants it and can explicitly verbalize the want ahead of time. Sounds like you're in desperate need of a safe word. Mine's chrysanthemum. I have a fetish for voices and accents. It's really weird and I've never met anyone who likes them as much as me but I can genuinely get off on just the deepness and the way my boyfriend talks. He doesn't even have an accent to me, both American with no significant difference in accents between us, but it's so incredibly hot. When I first started having feelings for him it freaked me out how my brain instantly fell for his voice and how s it sounds when he's horny. I can instantly tell if he's horny or not just by how he talks and it's one of my favorite things he does. He's such a keeper for more than one reason but this is such a bonus I've been enjoying without having known prior to our romantic relationship. 3. He also speaks Spanish fluently and my god. 
I've never been attracted to the Spanish language before like ever but when he talks. My wife use subterranea still doesn't know I'm into political RP in the bedroom. Absolute madman I'm tagged her I'm done. It's hot when my wife puts on an inflatable latex suit that makes her look spherical. In short me and my wife are into the inflation fetish. This will probably get buried because it's rather tame compared to most of the other responses here but I am huge into one piece swimsuits, specifically those you'd see in swim and triathlon meets, and leotards. Bonus points if they're worn as underwear beneath normal clothing. Edit. Should probably clarify that when I said leotard I'm more leaning toward gymnastic spandex athletic leotards. Wet and messy. Like girls covered in slime. I'm not sure exactly how mainstream it is. I have a cum inflation fetish. The only person I rule who knows is my wife. Edit. I'm a little embarrassed that this blew up as much as it did. But I'm also galled to know that the I'm not alone in this. My wife can essentially or get M just listening to my heartbeat. More turned on I get. Faster it gets. More turned on she gets. It's kinda interesting. But people would be... Confused. Edit. Was absolutely not expecting this. Thanks for the coinage. To answer some common questions. 1. No. She's not in healthcare. 2. How does it happen? Not sure. So she will get very turned on. Then my effort, if needed, is minimal. For example. I can use a stethoscope to listen to her when she's listening to me and I'll kiss her beat on her neck. That will do it. I can use that same technique elsewhere. Get her a stethoscope for Christmas. I'm surprised by how tame most of these are considering this is reddit. Those are only the ones that are upvoted. You gotta get in the trenches. Son. That's where the truth lies. Dominant girls that are normally shy and or submissive. I want to peg so badly. But my husband is staunchly against me even looking at his butt. Alas. I dream. Edit. So many replies from wonderful. Adventurous men. Your ladies are lucky. Strong women. I like a girl with some muscle. I love getting it by guys anonymously. I'm blindfolded and never see who it me. And will never know who it is. That said. I also keep the fact that I'm a huge from the people I know in real life. 2. I constantly imagine how anyone I talk to will moan in bed. So much so as when they sigh I get an instant turn on. I'm really into moms. Username checks out. Just want a muscular woman to beat me the up NGL. Ah. Those sleep fantasies where you are sleeping and someone starts getting frisky with you and wakes you up a bit but you are already part way through. Semicolon. Edit. And this blew up. Thank you to the strangers who gave me silver. Also. To people who are saying up a. I meant this more as a consensual act to help deal with morning wood. I do not whatsoever condone our pay. I like to watch PRN and jack off with other guys. But that's it. I don't want my dick sucked. I don't want to suck a dick. I don't want to or be ed by another dude. I just like getting naked and stroking my cock with another dude while we watch PRN. I know. I have a weird attraction to arms, bicep area. It makes me fantasize about a hug. You monster. It probably stems from the fact that my, now ex, girlfriend and I were both virgins when we had their sex. But now I have a fetish for taking a girl's virginity. Not in any kind of forceful RP way. But in like a comforting let me walk you through this gentle kind of way. It sounds creepy just typing it for some reason. My recent ex was great looking but boring as hell and super vanilla in bed. Love a girl who takes charge. A girl I was once fooling around with in college took me by surprise and handcuffed me to the bed while I wasn't looking and then told me if I talked she would gag me. Never came harder. Didn't pursue a relationship with her though. SX was great but her crazy extended beyond the bedroom. Ninja edit. I also love going down on women. 
It's my favorite and I love the reactions. The shakes. The noises. The nearly skull crushing thigh vice on my head when they come. Literally everything about it. Most of the time I fantasize about a woman I imagined them sitting on my face versus a good old fashioned winering. Edit 2. Nearly a day later. Someone mentioned she shouldn't have done this by surprise. To clarify. It was a surprise in the sense she got me in the cuffs without me even noticing she whipped them out. We talked about kinks and what we wanted to try beforehand. She is a great woman and would have 100% let me go if I was not comfortable with it. I have an authority fetish. Which I hear is fairly common. But I'm very confident and take on a leadership role outside of the bedroom. So. I enjoy playing with someone who will force me to submit to them. Which I guess is very sub behavior. But it's specifically someone who is in a position of power over me. Like an officer in the military police or a boss in the workplace. Additionally and occasionally. Making those same people my slave for a night. But that's fairly rare. This is the weirdest thing ever. But the SZS thing to me is the mythical creature Dryad. I don't know why I want to a tree lady. But I definitely do. Edit. Dyslexia got the better of me. Floor tiles. I don't know why I just really like how clean they look in the colors and lines. The more detailed the pattern, the better. I get really upset when the tiles get dirty. This is truly an abnormal fetish. Everyone here is all my fetish is attractive people. Please no judging. Then this mother uh, here is turned on by tiles. You're the man. I'm, male, attracted to amputees, female. Which causes me a significant degree of guilt conflict finding interest and attraction in a physical feature that may have been a source of pain trauma. Insecurity. Etc. My thing is letting my boyfriend do whatever he wants whenever he wants. Giving him free and total reign over my body. And the more I get him, the more I want him. I only recently learned of the term free use. And I guess it kind of falls into that. My boyfriend is the only one in the world that knows how much he owns me. I'm a guy. My nipples being sucked is up there. Edit. My highest rated comment ever is about getting my nipples sucked smh of course. Ironically. Choking. Like. My friend group makes jokes about choking sometimes. But every time I'm just sitting there like haha jk jk. Unless. I really like sweaters. A woman in a sweater is so hot. I think it's because I'm attracted to knowing that they are warm and comfortable. Also it's super cuddly. Comma a woman in a sweater is so hot. Especially when you turn off the AC. Not a fetish I can do. But I fantasize to be able to suck my own dick. You can do it if you try hard enough. I believe in you. Really want to tie my boyfriend up and edge him for a while. That energy makes me think he has good reason for concern. Gangbangs. I love how 42 separate people just acknowledged this with an upvote and there's no comments. It's just a mutual yeah that sounds right. I have a thing for pregnancy. Have since I was 12. But if I told anyone they'd think I got it from my roommate's wife. Bro. Backs. I'm not talking asses. But like. Bare female backs. I have no idea why but those are so goddamn attractive to me. Especially when you can see like. Muscles or shoulder blades. I will never tell anyone I'm not in a relationship about this. I don't want women thinking I'm like. Staring at their backs when they're turned away. Because I might be. Edit. Tonight Reddit has made me feel a lot more normal. I thought this was way weirder than it was apparently. Nice try person I know in real life. I'm really into being treated well and respected. When a woman whispers seductively in my ear and asks. What's your fantasy? And I whisper back. Owning a home. A more interesting topic would be. What fetish will you keep a secret from Reddit? Why am I reading these? We have nothing better to do. 
My wife loves it when I wisp you like that. You eyeing. In her ear. Imatophilia. My biggest kink is seeing attractive men getting sick and puking for any reason. Food poisoning. Stomach virus. Too much alcohol. Hangover. Motion sickness. Etc. It turns me on beyond belief. Honestly I get aroused just from hearing a guy say he doesn't feel good. The sicker he feels and the more he pukes. The more aroused I get. Especially if he doesn't make it on time. Seeing a guy totally lose control and throw up all over the place is the hottest thing ever to me. I just can't help it. It's no secret why I keep this one hidden. The one time I came forward and admitted it to a guy. He wasn't accepting of it. Meg. That's gross. It makes me sick. Disgusting. Like I could vomit. Even. Choking while kissing. I'm a furry. My partner of one. Yikes you should probably not lock yourself into a relationship that can't satisfy you fully yes so early. Squirting. While I have yet to experience it personally. It's ultimate fantasy of mine that. I am utterly fascinated with it. The mechanism behind it how a certain penetration. Stimulation. Finger. Just hitting that right spot can cause such a release. Fascinating and exciting stuff. A non essential but romantic relationship that involves an emotional connection. Long and big hugs. Kisses. Cuddles. And waking up next to each other. My wife takes absolutely massive monster s and make me look send me photos. At first I was disgusted but now I think they are kind of beautiful. I'd love to ask her to pop a squat and drop one on my chest but. Wheel. You know. Alien abduction fetish. No needles. Just weird alien dick. Breeding. Being groped or gotten off in public while having to keep quiet not struggle. Veiny hands. Teeth. Lots of teeth. Biting. Skimming. Gaps in the front. Sharp teeth. Watching someone bite their lip or lick their teeth. Like. Tracing the edge of a tooth with their tongue. Fasa masks. Seeing a ski mask without a mouth hole or. Conversely. With just a mouth hole. Is incredibly arousing. Teeth. The kind of spanking that ends in welts. Being talked down to and being mocked made fun of for how much I like it. Also. Closely related. Being told that despite this I am not allowed to come because it is not for me to decide. Deep throating throat bulging. Futanery. I play wow. So you're into masochism? IDK if it qualifies as a fetish yet but making other people uncomfortable gives me a high. Nothing harmful for a psyche. Just pushing a joke too far or when someone expresses a kink shame. A little it up but it makes for a lot of fun with my partner. Teasing is a healthy part of a relationship. I found him. I lick pink dicks. So white guys? Traps. I'm a woman and find them really attractive for some odd reason. Maybe it's because I'm B. Being happy with my grades up. Money in my account. And time with friends. I'm sorry it's just not realistic enough for me. Dipping my dick is different sauces and then putting the different flavors in different holes. Note. Hey quick question. What the? Dunkin' D's nuts. I like cross dressing. I have an alt account for it. My mom thinks she got rid of it with therapy when I was a teenager. But jokes on her. What they really told me was to be more accepting of myself and embrace who I am. Even if I have to lie to my mom. Now I rock a dress and a wig at least once a week. My mom is a great lady. Just a bit behind the times. Edit. So turns out I'm just non-binary. Your therapist was great. Then. I am obsessed with BBC. I have an intense fantasy about getting deep dicked by hung dark skinned men. I'm especially ashamed because I'm black and in an interracial marriage. But I'd never do that to my husband. Yeah that should definitely stay a secret lol. Premarital eye contact. You sick bastard. Get help. 
I feel like this thread has make me concerned. I wouldn't consider 90% of the things here fetishes. As a straight man. Futa isn't gay. And I just started a war. I like when them girls poo on my dig dong. I absolutely love fat girls. Same. But I couldn't keep it a secret when my friends and family noticed that I have never dated a skinny chick. My cuckold fetish. I don't jerk off in the corner or anything. But I like it when my husband makes me watch him another guy. Not a woman as much since I'm gay. But I still kind of get off on it. This took several unexpected turns in just two sentences NGL. My fetish is being in a deep meaningful relationship. I have a thing for fantasizing about my wife getting it by other people. Also love pregnant and lactating women. MILF PRN. And chubby BBW PRN. Not things I would admit to in real life. Inflation of the ass tits belly. These are depressingly tame. Money fetish. I like to rub dollar bills over my body but people see that as weird. My mind flashes back to when my friend told me she went to and her money fell into the toilet so she had to like wash the poopy dollars. Anyone else look to see what everyone's secret fetish is? And not post your own? I actually like stepping on Legos. I am a straight male. I really enjoy prostate play and pegging if done right. I figure if a woman lets me perform an L on her it is only fair if it turns her on. To do it to me. Turns out it feels dying awesome anyway. Also threesomes. I have had two female participants as well as a male and a female. Me and the guy didn't do anything together but we were all there in the same holes lol. Oddly enough. I'm in a situation where I can't be open about this so here I am. As a young and quiet antisocial outcast. Da poo poo. Hand holding. Specifically the premarital variety. That's hot. Honestly. It's hair. Yes it's extremely weird but there is just something so SSI about it. Cuckold polyamory. I have this fantasy of a particular scenario where a much bigger stronger man well endowed man comes in and takes over my relationship with a woman. I'll still be her BF but he be the favorite one. Essentially third wheeling my own relationship. I would find it hot if I had a GF that would have SX with her bull while I'm playing Xbox in the other room or something. I honestly find sharing a GF to the brass hot as well. It sounds good to me but I'm sure if I tried this in real life I would get jealous very quick and very insecure more so than I already get. Even if I did like it IRL I'm sure once the post nut clarity kicks in. I would want it to stop even though it's not going to be as simple as that. Edit. Grammar. I have a big thing for getting pregnant and becoming a mom with my boyfriend as a dad. I'm a guy. I am sometimes s sorely attracted to cartoon characters. Not every single one I see. Not by a long shot. But damn the list has grown over the years. Androgynous. Leaning toward feminine women. Like. If she has no tits. No ass and really short hair. I'm probably way too into it. My crippling 2D thing. I always joke about how I have one. But to them. People drinking water. Ahem. One thing all teenage boys do. How much I like fingers in my mouth and being choked to the point of not being able to breathe. Aing. Feels kind weird to say it cause I just released it but I really love the feeling of my BF coming inside me. Like the feeling of his dick throbbing inside me. But also I never want to be pregnant so it's not really a thing that can happen. I also like to make him come. Ever heard of birth control? You can get cream peed all you want. Had my husband pee on me before and liked it. My husband and I recently started dabbling in three ways. And only our closest closest friends know this. We've been unyieldingly monogamous until now. Beautiful tall legs and nice thighs. My fetish is naked. Well now you come to mention it I kind of have always had this thing for ARPS mom. 
Buddy I'm not even sharing that here on reddit. This guy has a privacy fetish. I'm typically fairly open about my fetishes if asked about them. But I'd say the ones I get the most judgement for are DDLG, Daddy Kink, and being peed on. Though there is one I've never shared because I try my best to suppress it. Yeah I wouldn't share it either. But it interests me too for sure. Along with a ton of other fetishes like incest, would never in a million years think at banging my siblings only applying it to hentai and PRN. Arpe. Gangbangs. BDSM. Exhibitionism. Etc. Daddy kink. Dot. Internet people. Daddy kink is where it's at. Everyone I've met in person. That's real creepy. Yo. I hope you aren't a pedophile. Body inflation. I'm not sure why. But ever since seeing Violet Beauregard blow up when I was a kid. I've been seriously turned on at the thought of guys getting blown up like balloons. I'm gay. I've got an underwear fetish as well. So my fantasies usually involve them inflating until their clothes tear off and they expand in their underwear. Sometimes I think of them blowing up like blueberries. Sometimes like balloons and other miscellaneous types methods. And almost always obscenely huge. Occasionally floating. For reasons that I hope are obvious. I'm not exactly keen on giving those in my life access to this information. Nice try. I'm into ear eyeing. Like penis into the ear and eyeing the brains out of a girl. Big ears. Big teeth makes it the best. But I never want anyone to know because I'm really ashamed of it. How small is your dick? Like girth wise? A pencil? How is it ever going to get into an ear? Mine is kinda self explanatory. Transgender PRN. Femboy PRN. Crossdressing PRN. Such a shame people are ashamed to be attracted to us trans girls. Who boy here we go. I'm into really gassy men. Particularly from the bottom end. Inflation on top of that also is great. Really anything to do with fat round guy bellies. Gurgling bloated tummies really turn me on. But only in men. I'm also into furries. Not one myself. But most of the PRN I find involves furries. I will never tell anyone except anonymously. I'm ashamed of my fetishes honestly.